You were delivering some medicine to the defendant's home. A pharmacy's house call goes bad. Before I put the medication out the door, the little kid, four years old, opened the door and the dog came out and bit my hand. What did he say to you? He didn't even say sorry to me. And reality is a bitter pill to swallow. Your dog nipped him. We're taking the position our dog didn't touch him. I don't care what your position is. Judge Judy. Mr. DeBalk, you were delivering some medicine to the defendant's home. Yes. You were working independently. You were making deliveries for a pharmacy that you don't work for weekly. He's, he's my friend. He's the owner of the pharmacy. That's not what I said to you. I want you to listen carefully. Okay. I said you don't work for the pharmacy on a weekly basis. No, I don't. You were making a delivery to the defendant's house. Yes. For whom was the medication? It was for me. Have you used this pharmacy before? Never. First time. I didn't Why? use them. My, my der dermatologist used them, and I wanted him to use my pharmacy. I don't care. OK. It's of no import to okay. me whatsoever. But I've never used them, no. You've not used them. Your dermatologist called the pharmacy, ordered a prescription. Yep. OK. When had you been to the dermatologist? Just a few days before this occurred. And do you know on what day the dermatologist called the pharmacy? No. I do not. How were you notified that the dermatologist called the pharmacy? The pharmacy delivery man called me. Just a second. The pharmacy called you? Called me and said, we will make your delivery. We're going to go back. On what day were you bitten by the defendant's dog? September 26. On what date did you go to the dermatologist? Well, I'm going to wait here as long as I it don't, takes. I don't have that date. I didn't know I needed it. But uh, it was a few days before the 26th, probably around the 22nd or 3rd. And you went to the dermatologist for what reason, Mr. James? For a rash. Now, I've been to the dermatologist numerous times in my life. If I go in for a rash, the dermatologist gives me either a prescription or a sample. I assume you went to the dermatologist and the dermatologist gave you something. Nope. So you don't have a very good dermatologist, because if you went there for a rash and it took two or three days for him to call in a prescription, I would change my dermatologist. <laughs> you understand where I'm going, Mr. Mm -hmm. James? I understand. OK, you don't look like an unintelligent man. If you go to a dermatologist for a rash and the dermatologist gives you nothing but says, listen, I think it'll just go away. Stop eating peanuts or don't <laughs> or change your lotion, and then I assume that you had to call your dermatologist and say the rash is getting worse? Come on, Mr. James, you know where I'm going. I know. OK, so you know where I'm going. Let's get there faster than slower. Uh -huh. You went there on the 22nd, well, 23rd. Make, make... You went for a rash. Yeah. You went for a rash. The doctor didn't give you anything. Nope. And then what happened? Then the delivery man. No, no, no. Something happened before the delivery man, because you're not a fool. If I went to a dermatologist and I didn't get a prescription the next day, I would call the dermatologist and say, listen, I didn't get the prescription. Or are you calling in a prescription for me? Do you want me to come back and get a prescription? The rash is getting worse. Something had to happen between the 22nd mm -hmm. and the 23rd and the 26th, not just a call from a pharmacy. I offered to pick it up. And he Mr. said, James, no, they'll call you Mr. for delivery. Mr. James. Sounded strange so to me. So just a second. OK. Did your dermatologist say, I'm calling in a prescription to XYZ Pharmacy, and they will call you when it's ready? Correct. On what date did you get a call from XYZ Pharmacy that the prescription was ready? Probably on the 25th. That was a couple of days after you had been to the dermatologist? Yes. Did they already have your address? Yes. You were given the prescription? Yes. At what time on the 26th? At uh, 7.30. Morning or evening? PM. And I'd like you to tell me what happened when you were delivering the prescription. Stop shaking your leg. <laughs> OK, at first, I was planning like, to go to the gym together. Don't, uh, listen to me. I don't care what you were planning. I want you to tell me what happened. What happened when I get there? You got the prescription. Yes. You drove there or walked? Drove there. And okay, parked he told, the car. Yes. And he told me, her, Ash, he told me already, like, he's going to leave the check. He saved it on the door and leave the medication. Shh. He's going to leave a check taped on the door. Yes. 